Hi, I'm Angela with Freestyle Fashionista, and today I'm going to show you DIY refashion blazers. Obviously, the ingredients you're going to need are a few blazers. And the ingredients are basically just go down to your local craft store, and I suggest just grabbing any trim that grabs your eye. I grab some stud trim. This is some flower trim. And then I also grabbed a few appliques. I just want to give you guys a few options of how to refashion a blazer. That's another applique. I just grabbed one of those. I would suggest hand sewing this on, but if you do want to glue it on, you need to use the E6000 glue. It's super strong and it will hold on the heavier appliques. I like using the smaller bottles because the bigger ones dry out. Okay, so today I'm just going to be pinning it on so that I can show you three or four different style ideas. I have already cut the stud trim on this side. This is a really popular look right now. I've already done the left sleeve and now I'm going to show you how to do the right sleeve. I chose to do three rows. Obviously, you can do as many as you want. Um, okay, so take your tape measure. Measure around the cuff all the way around. It's 12 inches. And then you want to bring it over to your trim. Measure 12 inches. Always cut a little bit more so that you have safety. So I'm going to bring it to the 13 and then cut that. And now I'm just going to take this and like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and pin it on. And you'd want to hand sew this. You can't obviously use a machine. So that would be the first look to revamp your blazer. And now I'm going to show you a second look. Take an applique. This is what I like to do. I'm going to pin it just under the pocket. I love this applique because it reminded me of Harry Potter. Kind of that like private school look. And then I'm going to stick one more pin in here. And you can stop there and just do one pocket or you can add a little bit more. Basically this is the same trim as the silver but it's in gold just to make it a little more modern, a little more hip, breathe some youth into it. <laughs> you can take another little row of trim, so that will give you that look. Oh, I love that. So that was our second style tip. Like I said, if you're gonna do the pockets, I suggest doing just one. And now I wanna move over to this blazer. And now we're gonna do something with the shoulders. If you're doing the shoulders, you wanna have two appliques. These are the appliques I chose. Appliques with chain are really popular right now. So all you would do is, the cool thing about these is you can, I'm just gonna set them for right now. You can sew them on this way and you can get a really cool military kind of Michael Jackson look. Actually, I don't even need to pin these. They're actually sticking just fine. Or, you can turn them this way. And now if you are gonna turn them this way, you guys, put the jacket on because a lot of times I'll just sew it right onto the seam and then when you put it on, it's like you can't even see them because they're too far back. So you actually need to cheat them a little bit more forward if you're going to do them this way. And that would be the look for the third style suggestion. All right, now moving on to our last and final look. I'm going to take these off. And now with my trim, we're going to attach this right onto the lapel. I'm going to pin it on, something like this. Brightens up the whole collar, gives it a great look. And if you wanted to, you could change out the buttons to make it match, or you can just leave it like that. And that is four style tips on DIY refashion blazers. I'm Angela with Freestyle Fashionista. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.